Medvedev threatens Berlin, London and Washington with nuclear retaliation. Dmitry Medvedev, deputy chairman of the Russian Federation's Security Council, has threatened the United States and Europe with nuclear war if Russia is returned to its recognized borders from 1991. He said this on his Telegram channel. Medvedev wondered what would happen if Russia lost the war against neo-Nazis along with their Western sponsors and returned to its 1991 borders. He speaks to this outcome as the irreversible collapse of present-day Russia, which under the constitution includes new territories. Medvedev believes that after that, a civil war with tens of millions of victims and the death of the future of Russia will begin. And now for the main question. Do these idiots truly believe that the Russian people will simply swallow such a consequential partitioning of their country? That we will all think, unfortunately, it happened. They won. Russia as we know it today no longer exists. It is unfortunate, of course, but we must continue to live in a country that is collapsing and dying because a nuclear war is far worse for us than the death of our loved ones. Children? Russia? And that's the state's leadership led by the Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Russian Armed Forces, would be hesitant to make difficult decisions in this case? Hear me out. It will be totally different. The collapse of Russia will have far worse consequences than the outcome of a conventional, even long-term war. Because attempting to return Russia to its 1991 borders will only lead to one outcome. To a global war with Western countries, utilizing our entire strategic arsenal. In Kyiv, Berlin, London and Washington for all other beautiful historical sites which have long been included in our nuclear triads attack goals. Will we have enough guts for this if a thousand-year-old country, our great homeland, is on the verge of extinction and the sacrifices made by the Russian people over the centuries are in vain? The answer is obvious, Medvedev added.